Hello everybody. It's been a couple days since I've uploaded anything, which is odd for me. But um, we had some great news in our data recovery stuff. Um, I'm currently transferring everything from my what we thought was dead hard drive to my computer right now. Turns out only some of the files were corrupted, so I can save most everything and my buddy might be able to save the rest. So that's a huge bonus and I'm very thankful for my favorite tech support guy. Um, yeah, I stayed up really late last night actually with said favorite tech support guy. But I only get to see him like once a month. We've been friends for like nine years now, I think. So it's worth it to stay up. But anyways, um, in other news, my sister's still in the hospital. She's been there for about four or five days now. Um, and she's actually really sick. And uh, that's got me kind of stressed out and kind of worried and whatnot. So um, between that and all the data transferring and everything like that, I probably won't be doing this too often this week. Maybe even next week. Depends on how long the data transfer takes. Uh, right now, it's taking a very, very long time. I have to do it in 100 megabyte sections at a time for about 180 gigs. So it's going to take a while. And each 100 megabyte section takes at least an hour. So we're, we're slowly but surely recovering all my data. I've been working on it all day long. I'm just happy to have some of it back. Um, like I mentioned before, my entire life was on that portable hard drive. Um, my daughter's delivery pictures, um, all of my family and friends' photos, um, memories that really cannot be replaced anywhere else. So, um, yeah. Oh, there's pictures of, um, like my, my dog when he was a puppy on there. And it's actually not technically my dog, but he kind of is now. I'll have to give you guys a story on my dog later. It's kind of fun. Um, okay, anyway, I should be headed to bed. I gotta get the next chunk of data transfer started so I can go to sleep while it transfers. Hopefully by the time I get up, it'll be done. Cross our fingers on that one. Um, other than that, but like I'm going, I got a lot of laundry to do tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Quite a bit of school to do. Um, obviously more data transfer. I'm gonna try to go up and see my sister tomorrow. I was gonna go see her today, but she wasn't feeling very sociable today. So, I totally understand what with all the horrible, horrible things they're doing to her there. Trying to figure out what's wrong with her. That's the worst part. She's at one of the best hospitals in the country right now. And um, a teaching hospital. Was. And they can't figure out what's wrong with her. So it's, it's been really stressful on, on me and then her, her family and everything like that. It's, it's been um, really rough. So yeah, that's about that. Sorry, I don't have anything else to say. Oh, this day to do. I, uh, sorry, my dog just barked and it's completely out of character. I, uh, upgraded my, my phone today a little bit. I, I've actually kept the same phone, um, but I got a new browser for it. I got Dolphin, which I'd never heard of before. Um, another friend of mine told me about it. Well, she posted it on Facebook and I started asking questions. And, um, if you have an Android phone, I could not recommend Dolphin HD anymore. It's amazing. It is so fast and, and so easy to use. It, it's just stunning. Um, I'm also thinking about looking into rooting my device, which um, being is that I don't have a warranty on this one. I don't have to worry about voiding it. Um, I actually got this phone free as a part of a beta test I did for an app. Um, about a week after I got my first Android phone, which was the um, LG Vortex, which I love, by the way. Um, the only complaint about this one is there's no slide out keyboard. Um, so anyway, I had just gotten that phone and uh, I 
had gotten a notice for a beta test for a, a new application that was coming up for LG, and um, which I have to be a fan of their phones. And they said, well, we'll send you a phone and we're going to send you, um, you know, already preloaded with the app, but you switch to the phone and, um, you know, make sure you have data. Well, I have unlimited data, so that was pretty easy to do. But uh, I got the phone. Um, it's an LG Ally, which is kind of cool because it has a, a folding, oh my, sorry, it has a folding keypad on it, or uh, the, the folding full QWERTY keyboard on it, which I love. I'm, I'm a bit of a texter. And, um, but yeah, so I, I got this one, and um, I actually like it quite a bit. It's a little bit more, it's a little bit more customizable than the, the Vortex, and, um, but really there's no difference. I kind of like the Vortex's bigger screen a little bit better. Um, I also like the, uh, the fact that the Vortex is more, fits in your hand a little bit better. It's, it's not quite so awkward to hold. And like I said, the only real complaint about this one is that there's no keyboard on it. It's all on the touch screen. So if your touch screen goes out, you're just you're screwed. Um, also, there's no flash on the camera. That's really annoying. Um, I didn't think it would be, but it really, really is. Um, this one, my ally here, is actually uh, it has a flash, which is cool. Um, unfortunately, the camera is oriented uh, this way, so if you take a picture this way, you have to flip it by hand. Or even this way, then it's completely upside down. Um, I like the buttons down here. These are nice to have. Um, it's actually in the right order. That's the only other thing with Vortex 2 is that the buttons on the bottom don't seem to be in the right order, in my opinion. Um, I said it, it fully slides out, and if your touch screen goes out on this phone, all of your controls are in here. You have your, your home keys and your menu and everything like that. You have every single control in here and the, the navigation keys select everything just like you, you were touching. So that's really nice. Um, I'm actually, what's really bizarre though, is I'm actually considering switching back to my Vortex. Um, just because I like to change my phones a lot. I like to have a lot of variety. Sorry about that. Um, I actually got this case too. I have to be fair purple. And I got this case for about two dollars on Amazon, and I like it. Well, it's a hard plastic case, but it wasn't quite what I was expecting in the description. In the description, they made it sound like it was a, a rubberized hard case, which is what I wanted. Um, my cousin has one. It's a, a soft rubber, but on all the corners um, and all the important parts, like where the buttons are and stuff like that, it's hard plastic. It's very shock and um, really awesome. It actually makes foam easier to hold. Um, for people like me with long fingers. So, um, that's what I was really hoping for, but instead I got this. It's just regular plastic. Um, it's slightly coated on the outside for like slipping, or like the non slip thing or whatever. Um, mine's kind of dirty. But underneath the cover is the way the phone actually looks, which really, I kind of like it better with the case on it. Um, the Vortex, on the other hand, it has this black, I bought this black silicone case for it. It's flexible and um, I like it because you can sit it on top of a hard drive away and the phone doesn't go anywhere. Um, <laughs> not that I've done that, but you know. Um, what actually talked me into buying this phone was the fact that it's actually purple on the back. You can't really tell on my camera, the light is horrible for that. But in other words, it is in fact a purple phone. And, um, hair stuck to it. Um, yeah, I like this phone a lot. It's um, really easy to use and whatnot. So if you're going to buy it, your, this was my first Android phone. I'm really excited about it. If you're going to buy your first Android phone, get a Vortex. It's great. It makes you feel like you're, you're up to date with everybody and it's easy to use. Um, unless of course you need a keyboard, which apparently I need a keyboard. So. Now that I've reviewed my phone for no apparent reason whatsoever, I'm going to sign off before I go for my YouTube time limit. And uh, tell everybody goodnight. So goodnight everyone. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to record a video soon. Soon means like tomorrow night maybe. Um, yeah, that's about it. Night everybody.